Why are so many women becoming more submissive to their pastors and the church more than their own husband? Does it mean that their own marriage is not as sacred as the altar they kneel before every Sunday? I came across this video on TikTok and it really got me thinking. I would like for you to see this video as well and after then we would have this discussion. Ask my wife to go to the kitchen and make me a bath because there is super too. My wife got down my tell me say she the go to church, she might not discover. Now see answer me to do a bath kitchen. Ah, she said she want to go to church. The only water she will force one drop. Now now feel gone gone gone. Person we want to go get hope say better for you. Hima. Ah, you meet the Eba. What's it, my friend? What's it? You're not even here, bro. I don't understand. What's it, Abuna? Ah, come on, dear. You want me to show? Ah, stop, bro. I don't like this. You don't feel like you're really acting like you're missing your voice. Turn this food again, they burn you with it. Why are you doing like this? If they burn you with it, turn this food again. Let me eat now, please. You never go, Josh. Josh, open up. Sell it, find you. Come on, dear. 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 For those that don't understand pidgin english apparently in this video this guy asked his wife to prepare him a meal before she goes to church but she refuses and says she wants to go to church and afterwards he went ahead to make the food himself and then she comes around to eat with him which he refused and you can see how it all panned out now before i say anything i'd like to state here that the guy overreacted because no matter what a woman does to you it is not a justification for you to be violent with her or try to abuse her because pouring water on her i mean that's abuse i understand he was triggered but reacting in that manner shows that he lacks emotional control now to the subject at hand this video might be scripted obviously because a lot of people do skits nowadays but it is a clear representation of the things that are happening in our society today a lot of the time you see some people would rather go to church be in church and serve in the church rather than serve and attend to their own husband you know recently i came across a message a sermon by mouse muro and he was talking about a lady who had an unbelieving husband she came to church one Sunday morning and he asked her to go back home and attend to her husband. So she went back home and catered to her husband. The following Sunday, her husband followed her to church. And after the service, he waited behind because he wanted to meet this pastor who could tell his wife to go back home and attend to him. Because he said, according to him, nobody has ever done that. So long story short, he got converted and became a member and he continued to attend that church. Mouse Moreau is a man that understands principles. Marriage is governed by principles. In fact, I think everything in life is governed by principle. Whether you want to become wealthy, you want to be rich, you want to be successful, you want to, be, you, you want to live at peace with people, there are principles that ought to be followed. I'm talking about marriage, when you fail to realize that the principle is that the man is the head in the family and no other man should be reverenced as much as the husband, then it becomes a problem. Because no matter how fervent the pastor is and how involved he is in any family, it doesn't make him more superior, more holy, and more worthy of respect than the husband himself. I'm not an authority in marriage yet. I've been married for seven years. And with my own little experience and the things I have learned, I've come to realize that anybody can fail in marriage. It doesn't matter how intelligent, educated, exposed, it doesn't matter what you are. I mean, even the most successful people on earth tend to divorce more. It doesn't mean that they don't want these marriages. It just means that they violate or they don't follow the principle that govern this relationship. It's just like buying a product and neglecting the manual that the producer of the product has presented.
If he's saying do not put on the product or do not, maybe it's a gadget, for example, if he's saying do not use it until you've charged for certain hours or maybe for 10 hours and then you go ahead to use the product without charging it, it means that you have violated that principle and you might not get the best of that product. It's as simple as that. So this is to show that anybody can fail in this institution so the thing is that if you follow the principle if you follow the rules that govern this institution then you'll be able to enjoy it and have a fulfilling marriage now i don't understand why someone would say because i have to be in church i have to cater to this sector or this unit where i belong to in church and because of that you fail to attend to your family attend and cater to your husband even God will not be happy with that. There is nothing wrong in being in church, being fervent, being consistent and serving God. But striking a balance is everything. Striking a balance between the two, your ability to be able to take care of your household and make sure that everybody is fine. It doesn't matter if your husband is a believer or not. I mean, before you marry, I'm sure you don't know saying the unbeliever. If he doesn't go to church with you, or maybe after you got married, that was when you discovered this church, and now you're converted and fervent, and he is not following suit, maybe not immediately. It doesn't mean that you have to stop catering to his needs and taking care of the home front just because you have to be in church. That is like you pulling down your own marriage by yourself. So the point here is striking a balance. Let's try as much as possible to strike a balance. You can still serve in church, serve God, be fervent, and then still be a wife unto your own husband. I hope this is of value to you. And if you watch this video, let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know what you think about that video. Do you object? Do you agree with the guy? Do you agree with the woman? Let's just hear your opinion in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, my name is Wendy Zill, and I'm glad you came across this video. Feel free to look around and subscribe to the channel. And also, if you like this video, I believe you like this one on the screen. Check it out right now, and I'll see you there.